Welcome to the video by DJS PRC. Today we have the Kyosho Blizzard on the table. Um, you saw not too long ago an uh, unboxing video and a running video of this vehicle. Um, not going to be the first one. I do have another one right here. Uh, basically, do you have the Trail King too? This might become an addiction, but more vehicles for the fleet. That's what, that's what we say. But it's time to, like I said, to add character to this vehicle here. Uh, vehicle stock, there is kind of a beacon on top. It's not functional at all. Now, what I'm gonna show you what I did. It has functional beacon, functional headlights, front headlights, side markers, and rear tail lights on it. Just gonna grab the body, put that aside here. Gonna remove this. Now, if you notice, there is modified tracks on it. Uh, these are 3D printed to give it a little more traction, but that's gonna be another video just by itself. There's more mods to come for this guy here. You will notice there's a lot of wiring and behind the cap there's even more wiring. And some of you will ask why this, why these brown stuff here? It's to lift up the front of the cab, not to hit those tracks. But again, that's another video. Basically, you'll notice there's two here, two there, four total. There's one on the side, another one on the side, one right here, one right there, and same thing on the other side. And I added two more in the corners here, plus these two here, and the same thing in the back. The reason that was done is to kind of mimic the original one. Um, to, like I said, give it more character and basically when we're going to be playing with it, you'll see the lights on. it. We will have the beacon flashing. The two top ones here in the back will be flashing different speed. Uh, and the rest will be only lighted up. Basically, what I did is went on the internet, found a blizzard, aka a snow cat, uh, and figure out where the light placements are. Now, for the front cab, that was easy. It's kind of shown, these two here. I could have done all four of them. Don't need to. I'm not trying to do a Christmas tree here. But what I did, I grabbed my body reamer made some holes dead center and I ordered from Amazon that I kind of hidden somewhere else. There we go. Thank you. These are LED uh, caps. These are basically, it says it's a 50 piece. These are three mil, right? Yeah. These are three mil LED older. Now there's different models out there. The side ones and these ones are not the same. Uh, these are a little bit bigger face. These are smaller face, but yeah. X002HMEOV1. If you want to try to figure it out, not sure if the camera is going to want to focus. But I'll try to remember to put it in the description, no guarantees. What I did, like I said, what I did, the two guys here, super easy. On that side, basically, I put some masking tape, marked where I wanted to put my holes, put it back on the physical body to make sure all the wires here won't touch anything. Then I grabbed my body reamer, reamed all four coil, all holes, and installed the LEDs. Then it came to the wiring itself. I did get the, I had these holders here for normal wires uh, and all the connections on, on it are basically, um, I can't remember the name of the connector. 
for some reason, but it's kind of a barrel that you crimp on it. These are not soldered, it's a crimp connector. Uh, and easier if, let's say, for some reason, one of the LEDs in the back burns off or I need to dismantle this, it's an easy connection. You don't need to. Uh, you don't need to having flashing lights. I do have a module inside here that will make the lights flash. And that module that I grab is from an airplane module. It's basically a servo connector. Plug in your receiver, and it gives out power. Uh, I'll give you some three steady lights, if I remember correctly, and two different blinking lights. Like I said, these are made for airplane modules that I grab to use on this. But if you don't want them to flash, you just want them on constantly. That's an easy fix. And these LEDs are from 9 to 12 volts. That's why they'll be powered for a separate battery. The beacon, this guy here, plus the four corners here are powered 6 volts. We don't need to be blinding these guys. We just want them to give an effect. Now, the other thing too, for the beacon here, uh, they're basically just a small beacon that I got on uh, AliExpress. You can dump, get them pretty much anywhere. Amazon has them too. You could choose your beacon. I removed the older, again, once I remove, I use my my body reamer. You could use a, a drill bit if you wanted to and slowly put a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger until the beacon itself, it has an aluminum base, kind of wedge itself there. And I use a little bit of hot glue just to give it a little bit of a bond. Then I ran my wires, added an extension to it. This will be plugged in the receiver. And the other one will be powered by the battery itself. Did a little bit of wire management underneath here. You don't really need to because you won't see it. But my OCD kicks in. I had to do something. I forgot to take a picture. I should have done it, but oh well. Uh, a little bit like here. See the wirings are not tied together, but I know they won't go. They won't touch anything. But now if I turn around and let's power If you see, even on the tablecloth right now, you see all the markers on each side because they're powered by a three cell. They're 12 volts. They'll be super bright. Even at night, you'll see them. I have no issue seeing with the camera. Even in the back here, same thing on the other side. Now, if I turn around and let's plug the beacon, I'm just going to use a, a receiver to power it because I don't have a wire near me. You see the beacon starts flashing. And if you look at these here, there's, the back ones are slow flashing. The front ones are a little bit faster. Just to give it an, an effect when we're outside having fun. Uh, give it a little bit more realistic look to it. The real vehicle might have more, could be a little bit different, but again, trying to bring it close to scale than not scale. And basically this is how you do it. Now, when you're doing your LEDs on it, you could go even more crazy. You could add more if you wanted to. It's up to you, it's your choice. I just, not, I just didn't want to, like I said, to do a Christmas tree. Um, and I'm trying to keep it as realistic as possible on this truck. Main headlights, there's two in these guys here and one on each side. And this should be more than enough to give it that scale look. If you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget to hit that like button if you did like this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I do appreciate it. It helps the channel a lot. And look for future videos of upgrades for this vehicle. There's a lot more coming. Thank you for watching.